Hi, my name is Tom and welcome to On A Student Budget. Today we're going to be unboxing uh, on a fairly new release item. Uh, this actually came out I think a month and a half ago. This is the VSonic GR07X. Yes, it finally arrived after lots and lots and lots of waiting. I think I waited for these earphones for like two, maybe even three years now. I think that's as long as uh, I've had my GR07, if not longer. So I got these in the blue. They come in a multitude of different colors. They come in black blue this you see here uh red um and uh, pink and i think it pr and purple and i might come in a green i'm not entirely sure the colors are a little bit more candy kind of candy cane color like really bright vibrant colors like the red is like a fire engine candy cane red kind of color um anyway so i got this earphone from pen and audio for approximately 200 dollars uh and i also got this um some spin fit ear tips from that as well because I actually need I actually like these ear tips a lot so got this as well uh, this equated to about three hundred dollars Canadian yeah the Canadian dollar sucks but what can you do so uh, what are you gonna do about that so in terms of the packaging itself um, I'm actually not a big fan of the way the earphones are printed here it doesn't it looks kind of cheap here but like the color anyway, like the way it looks like it's printed. Otherwise, everything looks top notch here. Um, it has a um, 360 nose, degree nozzle. I can't read Chinese, uh, so I'm not gonna try. Uh, looking at the back here. Yeah, so this is supposedly supposedly a successor to the GR07, and it'd be nice because I think my GR07 base editions that I like a lot are kind of on their way out. So, it's kind of a matte like texture here. I'm assuming, okay, this tab is magnetic clasp. So here we go. So um, uh, I'm seeing this on camera also and in real life. So it looks like, on camera, it looks like a candy cane uh, blue, but it looks like more like an ocean blue in real life. So uh, excuse the camera quality here. Okay. I don't know what this is. I'll get to that in a second here. Some ear tips fell out. Okay, here. Some of uh, the ear guides as well. Foam ear tips and all the silicone ear tips in various sizes. Put this aside here. There's also a, a manual here as well. There's um, some specs there for those that are interested. And I believe it still retains the biocellulose driver that it has, a 11 millimeter, that has that um, kind of um, natural kind of substrate kind of grown on it. So um, it's a foam insert. It's really nice here, the packaging here. Aside from that little, I'm actually not sure what's in here. Because I know that these earphones uh, come with a detachable cable now. So I believe that this should be the balance cable. Oh, this comes with the bag itself, okay. So, so the bag here is a nice kind of suede velvet kind of yeah I would say suede kind of uh, fabric and uh, opens up like this clamshell ooh this is nice not this and uh, this uh, I don't know what that is this is the balance cable, I believe. Yep, it is the balance cable. So it's nice that these uh, come with uh, two cables that comes included. But uh, we'll get to that a little bit later. I did see pictures of um, the way that they, uh, Vsonic implemented the uh, the detachable cables, but which I'm not really a fan of, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, nice uh, fabric kind of inside here. Very nice bag. I actually really like this compared to the old bags that they had. So I'll put the cable aside here for a second. Uh, it's a new kind of V-Sonic kind of cable, similar to the GR VSD 3S's, uh, the uh, 2.0 versions that I have. I'll show you in a little bit later. This angular design, right angle jack, and uh, over here. So uh, cable feels okay. Um, not bad at all. More of these silica gels. I have like three of these now, so I don't need that. And I thought these come with spin fit ear tips. Huh. I guess I was wrong. I honestly thought they did. Huh. What do you know? 
Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna keep going. Hmm. I'm kind of bothered by that. I kind of liked it because of the spin fit ear tips too. That was part of the purchase anyway. So you can see that the earphones, uh, the detachable cable mechanism looks like this, which I don't think is a uh, really, ooh, uh, really nice. I don't think they should have done it like this. It actually, I prefer actually the color that's uh, present on the camera here. It's a little bit more vibrant than what I see in real life. But uh, it's kind of this uh, ocean, that ocean kind of color. And it still has that um, 360 degree, not really 360, yeah, well, yeah, it is. 360 degree nozzle. It's a little bit, a lot more stiff than my GR07 naturally because these are new. So it does probably require a little bit of breaking in. And I lost the ear tip. Okay, here, I found it. Housing doesn't look any different from what I saw, uh, what I have with my GR07s. Um, just so I'm going to move into the cable itself. So it detaches on this uh, Y joint here. So I'm like, this is uh, one of the few times I've seen it like this. I think I saw it on the Sennheiser IE800s that they decided to detach it like this, which I think is a mistake, but whatever. Um, and the cable itself is the same as the other one too. It has angular design. Uh, it has a little bit of memory now, so but uh, I would imagine it would go away with some time. So just going to give you some close-ups with these earphones with uh, the GR07s and the VSD3Ss as well. So this is the GR07 base edition. So this is uh, now the aging model. So... Let me see if I can zoom in here, make this a little clearer here. Come on. There it is, okay. So you see GR07, walk, audio, same thing. The housing looks still retains that square design has uh, the vent here look here it might look bigger on the blue one because I think the black is just really sleek looking and uh, slim fitting so but to be honest it honestly looks exactly the same aside from the color mm, and obviously this is the right this is the left but there's a vent over here, vent over here, and of course it has that rotating nozzle. We went over this here, and uh, that's pretty much it. In terms of design, they didn't really do much of a refresh other than, um, you know, plastered them with different colors and such, but um, yeah, visually they look the same, and comparing them to the VSD3Ss here, uh, same as before in my other video definitely bigger the VSD 3s and this looks this looks like a more um, organic looking than this here so um, I would have liked it if vSonic really smoothed out the edges here just a little bit but these were the dr 7s uh, the base editions that I had were not uncomfortable by any means they were actually super comfortable uh, and they're much smaller here too so, yeah, no rotating nozzle here on these guys, just solid plastic here. And the cable, as you can see, looks exactly the same here. So they decided to go for the same cable. Uh, the, the plug is also exactly the same as well. So, this kind of new angular design that vSonic is really kind of pushing now but um, yeah overall pretty satisfied they I like I said I like the color better on my phone camera here or my camera here um, but still really nice looking overall so um, I'll check back with you guys with the first impression video or I'm gonna skip right to the review but stay tuned for that um, really excited to put these in and uh, give them a listen all right see you guys